hello guys thanks for tuning in in this video we will be combining this front view and also this top view into an isometric drawing using that angle photographic projection so to begin our drawing we'll start by drawing this line and it can be calculated by saying from this point to this point is given as 50 millimeters and we also know that the total length is 70 millimeters so we're gonna subtract 50 from 70 and get 20 and if we divide 20 by 2 we get 10 which is 10 from this side and also 10 from this other side so now I will start by drawing this 10 millimeter by drawing a line of 10 millimeter with a 30 degrees square and then next I will draw this one 10 millimeter going downward so I will draw a line of 10 millimeter going downward and then my next line will be this one which is the same dimension as the top one and is 10 millimeter which will be 10 millimeter with a 30 degree square and then my next line will be this one which is 25 millimeter so I'll draw also a line of 25 millimeter going down one and then there's the next one will be this one which is also 10 millimeter so I will draw a line of 10 millimeter with a 30 degree square and then the next one will be this one which is um, we will say 60 minus 25 plus 10 and 25 plus 10 is 35 so if we say 60 minus 35 we get So this dimension here is 50 not 60 so if we say 25 plus 10 is 35 and then if we say 35 50 minus 35 we get 15 meaning that this line is 15 millimeter going downward so I will draw a line of 15 millimeter going downward and then next up will be this one which it will say 70 minus 40 and then we get 30 and then if we divide 30 by 2 we get 15 so i will draw a line of 15 millimeter with a 30 degrees square and then my next line will be this one which is 5 millimeter going upward and the dimension is given here and then I will draw a line of 5 millimeter going upward and then my next line will be this one which is 40 millimeter and is also given so I will draw a line of 40 millimeter with my 30 degree C square and then my next line will be this one which is 5 millimeter down one and then I'll draw a line of 5 millimeter going down one and then my next line will be this one which is also 15 millimeter so I will draw a line I will draw a line of 15 millimeter with my 30 degree C square so now my next line is this one which is also 15 millimeter so I will draw a line of 15 millimeter going upward and my next line is this one which is 10 millimeter and I will draw a line of 10 millimeter with my 30 degree C square and the next line is this one which is also 25 millimeter 
and I will draw a line of 25 millimeter going upward and then my next line is this one which is 10 millimeter then I'm also drawing a line of 10 millimeter with my 80 degree C square and then my next line will be this one which is 10 millimeter and then I will draw a line of 10 millimeter going upward and then my last line will be this one which is also 10 millimeter and it was calculated in the beginning of the drawing so I will draw a line of 10 millimeter with a 30 degree C square so now as you can see we are not given the dimension for this one so we'll assume is eight millimeter and then if we can check if we can take note here we are given this 27 millimeter which is in line with this line and then also we are given the angle between these two lines to be 90 degrees so if we can calculate we will find out that this angle will be 45 degrees and also 45 degree from the other side the reason will be angle on the straight line so now I will draw a line I will measure 27 millimeter from this top going this side and then I will draw a construction line So after drawing this construction line which marks 27 millimeter from this point going downward and then now I will draw a line I will draw a line of 4 millimeter with my 30 degree C square going this side and I will also draw another line of 4 millimeter with my 30 degree C square going this side and then again I will draw a construction line from this point going upward and then I will also draw another construction line from this point going upward and then again now I have to so now if I say 50 minus 8 which is the one I've used for this line it will be 42 and if I say 42 divided by 2 it will be 21 so I will draw a construction line of 21 millimeter going this side and I will also measure 21 millimeter going downward and then after marking my point on the 21 millimeter I will draw a line a dark line from this point to my 21 millimeter and then again I will also draw a construction line of 8 millimeter with my 80 degree C square going this side and then I will also draw again I will draw a dark line from where these two lines intersect to this one and then I will complete my drawing by making these lines dark lines and I will erase the construction so the drawing won't look complicated and then now with this part I'm done with the front view what I have to do now is to draw this just to solidify this 2D so I will draw every line which will be visible using this 85 millimeter to this side 
so I will start by transferring this point with 85 millimeter and also this one with 85 millimeter and this one with 85 millimeter and also this one with 85 millimeter using a 30 degree square for all of them 85 millimeter using a 30 degree square and this one 35 millimeter using a 30 degree square also this one 35 30 degrees also this one is to be 35 using a 30 degree and also this one which is the last one 35 millimeter using a 30 degree square and then now I will join these points using a ruler and then I will jump to this one using join this point using a ruler and also this one oh I have to join here this one and this one using a ruler and then here I will draw a line of I have to transfer this one with 85 millimeter using a 30 degree square and then join these two points using a ruler and then I will also join these ones using a ruler and then now I have to draw construction lines to join my other lines first I will draw a construction line from this point going upward and I will also draw a construction line from this point going this side with a 30 degree square and I will also draw another construction line from this point going this side with a 30 degree square and then now I will make the lines dark from this point to where it will intersect with this one and I will also make this one dark from this point to where it will intersect with this one and also this one dark from this point to where it will intersect with this one so now I will erase the construction lines to see how my drawing will look when it's complete so I have completed a drawing like this one where I have combined the two views from this other side into an isometric drawing. So you can, take, you can check our next video for the next isometric tutorial. Thank you.